Royal Quest 2022 High Saviors GH here. Today we're gonna do a Royal Quest gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game. From the start, Royal Quest is a tab targeting fantasy MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game, okay guys? Here's the character creation. And here are the different classes. We got the warrior, here's the archer, here's the rogue, and mage. We're gonna play as a mage because I think I played as a rogue the last time. And I don't wanna play warrior or archer. So we're gonna play as a mage. Let's name our character. And here's the character customization, guys. And before the character customization, here's the male version and female version. We're gonna play as a female character. And here's the character customization, guys. Here's the hairstyles. How many hairstyles? Man, I can't count it because... Well, anyway, there's a decent amount of hairstyles over here to choose from. And there it goes. We can rotate the character. I'm kind of interested in this. So how about let's pick this. Now hair color. So how many hair colors? Okay, so there's a lot of hair colors over here. Let's pick the blue one. And here's the face customization. It's not that in-depth, but this is enough. There's a decent selection of preset faces. Let's pick this one. And then we can also choose our skin color. Create. And we're in the game. What is this? This is different. Look at this somebody playing over here, guys. He has some kind of a... Uh, what's this? It's a turret. Nice. Okay, tutorial. We can move with WSD. Nope. We cannot move with WSD. So just click to move or point and click. So, okay, let's follow the tutorial. Well done. You learn fast. Now left click on any spot. That was easy. Now talk to the trainer. Man, he was just trying to tell me something. But it skipped. So how about let's just talk to the nearest exclamation mark. New equipment. Oh, except get your equipment from Fantoginet. Is that right? Okay. Oh, from this girl. Let's close up. Give it the equipment. New equipment. Complete quest. Oh, so that's the weapon. And is that a ring? Let's open up our bag. Here's our bag. But wait a minute. Where's the equipment, bruh? Nope. Oh, okay. I need to turn over the quest first. Let's go. Oh, seven new quest. Open up our bag. Man, where's... Where's the equipment? Okay, anyway. Watching the road. Now I need to slay the monster dew drop. Okay. What is this? So how about let's interact with this? Maiden. Oh, it's the warehouse. Save here for resurrection. Okay, so that's the save point. Oh, what is this? Look at this, guys. A lot of people playing. So it's an active game. But how do we find the dew drop monster? Here we are. It's not pointed on the map. Okay, so anyway, let's just go outside. It should be here. Meadow, Bumble Buzz, and there goes the dew drop. Let's hunt it down. Let's check out our skills. We got Mental Blow and Ice Arrow. So let's test out Mental Blow. Ooh, it attacked. I only clicked once and it attacked. How about let's use Ice Arrow. Ice Arrow him up. Oh, there's a cast time. The Mental Blow is insta cast. Let's go. Okay, so anyway, where do we need to go? Okay, I need to go back. There's a different starting area depending on what class you pick. But wait a minute. Ah, uh, when I'm here, <laughs> the frame rate is very low. There goes the Magister. Give me the quest. Complete. And we're done with the quest over here. Open up our bag. What's this? Guards emblem. I think this will transform me into a guard, so we're not gonna do that. What's this? Level up. Prem. Oh, premium. Get premium. Okay, we're gonna check that out later. How about this plus? We're a mage. So, intelligence. Max it Oh, only five. Okay. Apply. Close. Hamilton the sorcerer. Give me a quest, bro. Now I need to hunt down Bumble Buzz. So how about let's take out another quest over here. So we don't go back and forth. Oh, accept quest. Disinfect an area of water with disinfecting powder. What? How do we know where to go? How do we read the quest here? Oh, there you go. That's it. Go to the lake to the west. Lake to the west. I'm gonna shoot me over here. Okay. So let's just go over there. See how it goes. Oh yeah, I need to fight a Bumble Buzz. Ice Arrow. And I defeated the Bumble Buzz. But I didn't get a quest. Oh, at the lake. I need to go at the lake. Hey, wait a minute. What's that? What's happening there? Nothing? Okay. How about let's attack another Meadow Bumble Buzz. This is not the target. How about let's go over here. Oh, this is the Forest of Shadows. I think this is the lake that they're talking about. There's some kind of a wrench. I think that's the quest destination. Oh yeah. The wrench on the map is a quest 
indicator. Okay, got it. And then there goes the bumble buzz. Want it down? Can we tab? This is a tab targeting game that cannot use tab. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason for that. Botting. Because it's very easy to bot if you enable tab to target enemies. Okay, there goes the disinfecting powder. There goes another bumble buzz. Pant it down. Disinfection spot. There's another one over here. Oh my god, this one is aggressive. What? It's kind of strong. Kill him. Pots. Pots. Oh my god, at one. There it goes. Man. Okay, we got that one. It's kind of strong. One more disinfection spot. And then this bumble buzz. We have a new skill. What's this? Wall of fire. Healing. Okay, let's try healing. And there it goes. We can heal. And then let's try out wall of fire. Ah, it's... <laughs> it's fire wall. Ooh, kind of like in Ragnarok Online. Nice. Like in this skill. You can create a fire wall. Okay, so how about let's turn over the quest. Okay, before we continue on with the questing, we're gonna check out the cash up as always. And here it is, guys. The premium store. Let's open it. And before we start checking out the items, prices. So 60 reals is 1.5 USD. The price will be changing because... How can I say this? I guess because of the currency exchange. So now let's check out the consumable tab. And here it is. Consumables potions. They're selling potions in the cash shop. Instantly restores 100% of the character's health. This one is for the mana. What else can we have here? Another health potion. There's a lot of health potion in this game. Here's the resurrection item. This arena tickets over here gives you additional entry for the arena. Because there's only a limited amount that you can enter in an arena. And there goes the bag expansion guys. You can buy it in the cash shop. Now these summoning stones over here, it allows you to summon your party member. So yeah, summoning technique. This 4 leaf clover, this is your loot drop boost. There goes the description. And most of these items are talent resets. So how about let's move on to the elixirs. These are the potion buffs guys. Like for example, this elixir of might. This one gives you plus 50 to attack for 2 hours. What else can we have here? All of these are buff potions. Usually give you attack, dexterity, intelligence. You guys get the point. But this lucky dog elixir over here gives you plus 18 to luck and more on loot drop. So that's that. Now let's move on to the blessing. This royal blessing over here, this is the premium subscription guys. Here's the 3 days, 7 days, 14 days, and 30 days. So what do you get if you buy a premium subscription? Here it is guys. All experience you obtain is increased by 50%. Your chance of obtaining items, okay, look at that, there's a lot of it. Even traveling between Maiden is free. You get a new skill, the portal skill, so you can instantly go back to the Maiden. You get more gold and all those good stuff. Now these stones and runes over here, this is the upgrading system. And this rune of preservation over here, that this prevents your item from breaking if you fail an enhancement. And this red philosopher stone over here increases your chance of successful improvement by 6. Pretty much all of the items over here is the same thing, just different rate of success. Now these keys and boxes over here are the packages, we're not gonna check it out. It's basically the starter items. Now in the cards tab, of course they're selling cards. And the cards you can put it on your equipment. And let's read the description, look at this. This card of water over here, you can put this on your weapon. And then it's gonna increase the damage. And it's gonna give it additional skill, like chill. Which will deal 7 to 9 damage every second. There's one for air, fire, earth, poison. You guys get the point. This will make your weapon stronger. Now in the style tab, these are costumes, of course. There's no stats in the costumes. This is how you do costumes. Don't call it costumes or style if there's stats. I don't care if it's just one, it doesn't matter. It's still stats, right? So if why not just do costumes without any stats? So that there's no argument, right? And we cannot preview this King of Spade because we're a female character. So how about let's check out this Pussycat costume. There it goes, guys. How about this Queen of Spades? There goes the Queen of Spades. It looks nice. Demoness costume. Wow, this looks nice. Okay, so how about in the Animals tab? Oh, it's the mount, guys. In the Animals tab, they sell mounts. You can have a T-Rex. T-Rex? Okay. There's a Vulture, Carcaron, Roger, Bumblebot, a Mantis, an Insector, and you can also buy Mount Feed. For some reason, we also feed our Mount. 
And that's the cash up guys. I'm pretty sure you saw what you needed to see. So let's go back and play the game. Okay, so I already turned over the quest. Did I turn over the quest? <laughs> Okay, uh, Slay Monster Logius. Okay, I think I already saw that monster. And I need to talk to the Royal Alchemist. This one, good advice, complete quest. Accept a new quest. Is that it? No, you're giving me another quest. Okay, let's go. Now I need to bring a plus two improved encyclopedia for novices to the Royal Alchemist. This one, I need to improve it. Okay, item improvement. I need to put that there. Do I need an item to put there? Improvement cost. Rune of Preservation, Required Item, Philosopher's Stone. I don't know why it's blocked out. Look at this, it's blocked out. It wouldn't allow me to upgrade the book. I think these are optional. So just, it can increase the success rate of our enhancement. And then Rune of Preservation, we saw that we can buy the cash shop. Let's go talk to the alchemist again. Store. Man, we can't buy stuff in this store because they're all expensive. We only have 57 gold. Okay, so how about let's equip this? Did I equip it? Okay, so let's just ignore that quest and let's add some stats. Intelligence all. We're gonna do that quest later. Let's take other quest first. The book that he gave me is barely any stronger than the one that I got. The one that I got has a card of fire equipped, so this is better. And they're both the same. Okay, anyway, take a quest from this guy. Accept. Oh, now we have another quest. The log use and then we need to get some beautiful flower. Is it marked on the map? Man, I need to read the quest. Okay. Okay, so I need to get flowers. I think these are the flowers. It's marked as a bag on the map. Okay, so how about this? What's this? A serious enemy. Slame monster log use. I think I already defeated this monster. It's the one on the lake. <laughs> He's kind of strong. Okay, so how about let's hunt down that log use again to finish the quest. I kind of want to upgrade. Let me just figure out this royal alchemy thing over here. Item improvement. Okay, so do we try this? Is this 100%? Wait a minute. Yeah, it's 100%. I think we need to put this. It says required item, Philosopher's Stone. Oh, we got a Philosopher's Stone. It's a chip though. Will it work? Oh, okay. It's working. Improve. And there it goes. Now it's plus 14. Let's do it again. Because according to our quest, I need it plus 2. Man, it might fail. It, it's only 90%. And this book has a card, man. Okay, it might fail. Let's pray for it not to fail. Yes. Don't fail, bro. Improvement successful. Okay, we're done with that. Equip this. Talk to the Royal Alchemy dude. What's happening, bro? I'm not done with the quest. Oh, okay. So the thing that he wants me to improve is this book over here. Okay. We have more chips. Improve, but our money. Do it again. One more time. Improve. And we're done with that quest. Turn it over. Complete the quest. And we got something from him. Okay, we got something from him. What's that? A transmutation card. Let's open it. Card of Mage. Okay, we can put that in our weapon. Let's not do that. Let's talk to the Maiden. Look at this. Somebody playing, guys. Let's inspect him. He looks cool. Look at this. Okay, we're done with that quest. Let's hunt down the boss. Let's go. He's just here. Ah, oh, there he goes. Let's go, bruh. What's happening? Why is my firewall skill blocked out? Ooh, I accidentally attacked this dude drop. What happened to my wall of fire skill? Not enough concentration. How do I get concentration? Oh, I think I need to attack first before I get concentration. Okay. Oh, what is that? There's a ghost of war. And it died. Okay. That was fast. So how about let's attack a few dude drop. And maybe... Some bubble bus. Okay, there it goes. My wall of fire is enabled now. Let's go. We're gonna use a fire attack on the lake. <laughs> okay, let's go. Fire attack. Then use an ice skill. Let's go. And we win. I like that skill. And that's Royal Quest from the start. Seems like a traditional MMORPG to and through. Now the starting experience is well done. No hiccups or anything that will impede the quest progression. Now the combat is tab targeting and it works as intended here. As for the graphics, it's cartoony and colorful. I like it. The world is vibrant. As for the performance, I did do notice frame drops very often but since the gameplay isn't fast paced, it didn't matter that much. All in all, Royal Quest is still kicking. There are people vending and roaming around so there's people to play with. And if you want to check the game out, the details are on the screen. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share. And then subscribe to be part of the gaming hardcore family. And as always, this is 
Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.